Hey folks, it's Ben. Yet another tractor wasted on me. Uh, got this free from Facebook. A guy named Robbie uh, just posted free tractor and free weed whackers, but we'll get into those later. Um, so you got to be quick on the draw. Brought the truck and picked it up. And it's a Gilson, you know, Gilson Brothers. Um, I think it's a YT, a yard tractor. Because it looks like it's a little bit more heavy duty than a lawn tractor. But I uh, haven't quite figured that out yet. There's not a ton of literature on these things uh, on the web. And I have to go to, I have to remember my lo Yahoo Groups login to get into that group. But what I can tell you is it's probably an 80s unit. Because that's about when they stopped making tractors. And it looks like it's one of the more modern units here. And then the engine has been a replacement. I believe these came with an 11 horsepower. Um, but this one's a 12, and the manufacturer date on it is 99. So, uh, let's see, uh, 99, September of 23. So, um, the engine's a replacement for this unit, so that's cool, because uh, it's a nice new shiny motor. Doesn't have a battery, haven't fired it up yet. Uh, but I like the rear end, 5-volt axle. That's why I'm thinking not a yard, uh, not a lawn tractor, maybe a yard tractor, which is just a little bit beefier, but not quite a garden tractor. Um, it is missing its no sheet metal. So before I get too crazy, I'll just quickly, I'll probably just get a piece of metal and just to keep the nose from falling off it because it does kind of look nice with a nose on them, you know. Uh, it was stored in a shed that was kind of falling over or going to, so uh, there's a little bit of bird poop on it. But ultimately, I think it's in, he said it ran. He said the transmission might be toast. Uh, and it looks to be slow, two, three, a five speed. So um, then I haven't looked to see if it's a Pearson or anything like that. So... Um, it might be in shape. It won't roll when it's in gear, so that's a good sign. And then a cute story with the steering wheel. You see all these um, the night ties here. I guess they were running it and doing what have you and needed to use the wheel to hold on. They were doing wheelies or something and popped the whole wheel off, so they used the night ties or zip ties or whatever to put them back on. What I'm curious about is um, there's a hinge here, right, on the seat, and... Uh, it lifts this part up, but to what? Nothing as far as I can tell, except maybe the seat adjustment. That's it. You can see the pulley for the transmission and uh, pseudo three-point hitch. Kind of, so that's really cool. One tire's lower than the other in terms of air pressure, but looks like a really awesome tractor. And it's kind of the tractor I need to pull things around, carts and what have you. So uh, I'm real pleased with it. We'll... Uh, Definitely get some use out of it. Steering is much tighter. You guys know I have that uh, John Deere 111. The, the steering is mostly toast. This one's really stiff, so I'm real happy with that. Means it can steer. And if the motor works, that's fantastic. And I can find a transmission for it if it is bad. Um, so that won't be too bad either. So it's a really nice, it's a nice little find here. Um, need to get a new battery cable for it, which I can get pretty cheap. Uh, but for starting purposes, I didn't get to it today. See if I can just get it to crank over and start. Um, probably be tomorrow's video, but no guarantees. Uh, but we'll get it running again and kind of tool around with it. Um, but it looks like a really nice tractor. So um, thanks for thanks for the freebie on Facebook. Appreciate it. And then a quick little overview here. It actually came with two weed whackers, and I was interested. I've been looking for a straight shaft weed whacker. And so here we've got a uh, it's a two cycle uh, Husqvarna. Um, straight shaft with the nice handlebars and throttle so I'm really excited about that we'll get her going uh, we'll take the time to rebuild everything all of these things haven't run in about three years um, but they did run three years ago and then this other one which is also cool I didn't realize it it's a four cycle weed whacker um, so it's got an oil level and just regular fuel so I'm actually quite excited about that as well because even if the weed whacker portion isn't any good it's still a cute little four cycle engine so uh, we'll play with that as well. Um, this one, this one put away, was running fine. Uh, and then this one apparently never ran well since new, but, uh, weed whackers are pretty temperamental anyway. So, uh, two weed whackers and a tractor that makes three on the premises now. Uh, the Gilson, uh, I got the John Deere, which if you, the sunlight is hitting it, if you can see the green and the Quonset over there. Uh, and then of course I got my Craftsman that we used to mow the lawn. So if you have any questions on this tractor, or you have any information, honestly, and I'll, I'll be friendly, uh, I'll put maybe I'll put the model in the show notes. I'm usually not that fancy. 
but it is a, uh, you can't read that, but it's a model 52083, which I have looked up on the internet, uh, and 47358, and then serial number, you know, whatever, um, don't know if there's a date establishment with those yet or not, and I'm sure somewhere else on this tractor is its model number, but like I said, it's probably a, a yard tractor, but it might not be. Anywho, thanks for watching, guys. Catch you later.